and welcome YouTubers. Welcome back to Let Us Play Metal Gear Solid. Uh, right now we are about to continue right on. We have just had uh, the arms tech chief, uh, ba Donald Anderson. Wow, names not really my fault, eh? <laughs> uh, he's just died of a heart attack. So I'm going to. I'm just going to save my game a moment. Stop it, Chief. Poor man. He has a heart attack right after you save him. I'm getting a bad feeling about this snake. Maybe you should let me save your mission. That would be wonderful. Please do. Do it. Awkward silence. There we go. That's uh, normally how my conversations with women end. Awkward silence. Now, is there going to be anything underneath here? Oh, a good a ration to replace the one that I had to use. Excellent. Well, the two that I had to use. Oh dear. Sounds like something bad's happening out there. Uh. Yeah, wonderful! Look, the door's open! Let's go! Don't move! Ah. So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, no you're, you're not. not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! Right, do I have my... Yeah. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Shoot! shoot. Ah! Good. Thank you. Thank you, Meryl. That was very kind of you. No. Yes, that reloads. All that's it. Yes. There we go. As you can tell, I was well prepared for that. Whew! That was intense. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm making a mess of this. <laughs> Again. Thanks for that. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Wait! Who are you? Sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. That's what you call gratitude, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good girl. Just, Just like that. that. Hey, 
tell me. I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. It sure was. Right, now then. There is something I'm going to want from here because I have basically wasted all my ammo. There it is. You see, nothing good ever comes from just shooting like a maniac. You must always, always, always uh, consider a measured approach before firing, before firing needlessly. Mantis. I oh, know, Mantis. He's such a, he's such a floating bastard. Uh, so, for anybody watching on YouTube right now, uh, I am also live streaming on Mixer. And why am I waiting for the standing there waiting for the elevator? Let's go to, let's go and save the the uh, the president of Arms Tech. Um, because I'm pretty sure he needs our help. Uh, no. um, which one of these doors are level one? Cool. Uh, Baker, that's what we've got to go for. Actually, wow, I, my, my memory's ridiculously poor. I can't even remember people's names in this game. That's not, no, that's a thumb ass, which we will get at a later date. Already got full soak on. Wondering where you get a suppressor from, though. You get a suppressor at some point. Uh, right, anyway. Ah, the walls are a different colour. Excellent. Uh, let's go back. Ooh. Ooh, that's a massive bang. Well, at least, at least... Baker will know we're coming, right? At least he'll be like, ah, good, explosions! My rescuer is on his way! Here we go. Nothing else down here, is there? No. Now, I know you could, if you wanted to, blast through a wall over there as well. But... Actually, you know what? I cannot actually remember where that goes. For the life of me. Anyway, let's just... Let's do this. Let's do this. And let's hopefully not fail like a little girl. No. I mean, like, no. Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it. C4. Right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. My favorite villain in all of gaming. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. <laughs> now we'll see if the man can live up to legend. Oh, this don't you worry, Ocelot. I live up to the legend. To oh, don't you worry well. about that. The legend Six has been lived up to. Than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Draw! Okay, here we go. Good. Should have got that so early. Oops. I love to reload during a battle. 
Oh, that's my like Alright. I'm alive. Let's go! Good, he's made his mistake. Oh, that bullet got so close to those wires. Okay. Hiding won't help you. I understand. Hiding won't help you. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to do something too. Oh! You better hurry up. The old man's not gonna. Trying to do that. I want to. Does Baker's act don't health actually go. Doesn't Baker's um, life go down if you actually don't win quickly enough? I don't know if there is an actual. Yeah, got him! Yeah! Pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time You're since pretty I had good. a good fight. But I That's was right. just getting warm. That's right, Ocelot is <laughs> deleted! Yes! Wow. Jesus Christ. Camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again. again. Who are you? I am like you. I am like you. I have no name. That that exoskeleton. Oh shit. Oh, that moment gets me every time. Who the hell? Who the hell? Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that it case, is of course how did they possible get your that he may have been lying. I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> Looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. <laughs> you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. <laughs> Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes I completely now. agree. Rex beats Ray. Those boys are totally Every insane. second. They wouldn't hesitate In fact, the to only launch. recorded fight between Rex but and Ray, really Rex win? wins. Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the colonel's niece? 
I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent uh, the missile launch? I would look at the back of the CD case. Only problem is, I'm playing on the PlayStation Store version, Hal and Henry, the CD case is into hand. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. <laughs> it stands for material unaccounted for. Okay. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. 
dark little secret. An experimental genome soldier. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Pentagon bastards! So, they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they're just using you for... He's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't, Don't lie, lie to me. me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Okay, let's just do a quick little uh, gun set, a uh, little save a moment. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some kind of electronic jamming coming from there. I wonder what it is. Anyway, be careful. Okay, so to the YouTube audience, that was the end of part two of Let Us Play Metal Gear Solid. If you like this video, please remember to hit like, share and subscribe because it helps us out here at Common Gamers immensely. And if you want to watch this thing live, you can do that on Mixer at Gibbon underscore gaming, which will be changing to Gibbon underscore gamers very, very soon now that I know that it's actually wrong. Uh, or you can watch on Twitch, because uh, some of us are live streaming there, that's also at Gibbon underscore gamers. And if you want to find out when the next live streams are happening, if you want to see news, reviews, all sorts of fun little stuff, you can find us on Facebook, which is at Gibbon Gamers. And we're also on Twitter, yes we are, that's Gibbon, uh, Gibbon Gamers as well. Uh, and it's and with all those things you can find us and enjoy all the great Gibbon Gamers content that we are bringing you. Because that was me, me, Chunny of GG. Bon voyage, Gibbons.